Hey everyone, welcome back to uh, PlayStation Livecast here, joined by Justin, Klaus Lingelig, and Alex. We're going to be here and we're going to talk about Fea. Are we yeah. saying this right? You are, yeah. Woo! Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm trying to be nice here. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were talking about this before. Yeah. Like some people have heard fee, some people say. I was like, no, uh, no, no, it's fey. Yeah. It's gotta be fey, right? Well, we're both wrong. Well, it's Swedish. It's do not easy. Wanna, do you wanna say the way you say it? Fee. Fee. Yeah, that Perfect. was really good. Yeah. Really good. Oh, really All right, good. I'm getting the hang cool. of it. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about how this game came out, came to be. Uh how it came to be. Uh well it's actually it's a very old project that uh, I mean we we uh, we had the studio for a long time. It's called Zoink. We're in Sweden, and uh, me and Alexander, uh, uh, no, me and Andreas was talking about the game like five years ago. That uh, he really wanted to do something that was relaxing to play, and uh, I always wanted to do a 3D game, a full 3D game again. We haven't done that for a while, and I thought we're going to do it. We're going to find a style that's just that we can work with. That's really amazing. That looks interesting, and so we started prototyping all these different things and. And uh, just one thing led to another, and we worked on it a little bit here, a little bit there, and it sort of moved forward. And um, then, yeah, then one day we, we pitched it to EA, and everything went really well. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. So we actually have some live gameplay that Alex is going to be sharing with us. So yeah. why don't we go ahead and get that started, and yeah. you kind of talk us through what's yeah, going absolutely. on. Yeah, absolutely. It's kind of a world premiere. Yeah, it's really, let's see if it uh, starts uh, up. Uh, okay. Turn the controller on there. That's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it takes okay, so yeah, it it's takes gonna take it's gonna take a minute to, to load up here. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, Justin, what were your first thoughts about seeing it? The, the well, this was a uh, uh, this was announced uh, during E3, right? That's true. Yeah, at I EA Play, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah and this yeah. was one of the big highlights that people took out of that. There were so many big things that happened there, and one of the things I saw people talking the most about coming out of it was. Fair. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think I got it. Um, what was your reaction to that? What, what did that feel like to be up with all these titans on, on oh. the stage there and for your game to be what people took away from it? Well, I mean, it's also the thing was I got to know about that I had to go up on stage like three weeks before or something like that. It's like, <laughs> you should go up and do that. And it's like, wow, really? Um, yeah, I mean, here's the game. And um, I just want to point out that the game... This is actually kind of how the game starts uh, in the final version too. It's really about the game is really about exploration. It's very important to us that it's uh, just dive into this world that you don't really know what it is. You don't really know who you are actually, uh, and you just sort of wake up there and and this is the character called Faye. Yeah. Now I decided to follow this little deer here. Yeah. You so what kind of character is it? Because I've heard different. I know. A little woodland creature. I yeah, that. I'm gonna explain it because basically um, Faye actually means fairy in Swedish. Huh. And I thought I wanted to pick something that just felt really sort of Nordic and weird and yeah. then, you know, mystical. There's and been a lot of discussion about that. Like, is it iron? Is it what does it mean? But yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a character, and it is uh, this little character that uh, just stop a little bit there. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you. Um, but, but basically, um, the character uses this song in the game, which is really amazing. Um, that you can, with the analog trigger, you actually control the way you're singing in the game. Oh. Yeah. Um, so really, if you just touch the controller a little bit, it's cute <laughs> like this. I love it. Yeah. Oh. You do it all the way. Cute? Yeah. Do people in your office keep just doing that? You're like, ah. Yeah, yeah. We have actually voice actors coming in, and they're like weird sounds <laughs> in the music yeah. studio. Yeah. Every day for a while, it was like people screaming and screeching and <laughs> howling. That is there's the not a lot of howl. yeah. There's not a lot of dialogue in it, but this you do communicate with the environment through all these different cries. Yeah, and you can see well, well while Alexander here is uh, talking to the environment, you can see how it sort of reacts. Like every plant uh, uh, that you see will actually sort of move and, and, and react to this, and it comes almost like a little musical instrument yeah. in a way. Um, and you can actually talk to any kind of animal you find in the in the world uh, and communicate with them through this kind of weird song. Is that kind of the core gameplay mechanic is going that to is the befriending core. these animals? Yes, definitely, yeah. It's about going out there and using songs as a sort of like a language to the nature, basically. A simplified uh, <gasps> language. You can see here there's this uh, really strange flower here who's a little bit more intelligent than the other ones as it's looking at you. And uh, if we try to talk to this, uh, you sort of connect to it. And if you find the right tone, tune with it, or harmonize with it, there you go. Sort of, you know, you open it up like this. Oh, wow. This will help you out. I love the sound design. Oh, the Joel, who's working on this, is like, oh, he's, he's amazing. <laughs> he's amazing. And he does all the sounds and all, this, all the music. And yeah, everything. and he's bringing out these amazing um, musicians who are doing uh, all the live recording in our studio. So we hear like violins and everything in the office. <laughs> it's super nice. Yeah. Um, I'm, uh, so, yeah, so the flower here opened up these little platforms so we can move forward. So it's about connecting to the environment and seeing how 
it actually helps you forward. Figuring out how this sort of like mini ecosystem is working. Um, so there's like mini puzzles within the game to get you to the next portion. Kind of, yeah, but it's very open also. Um, but you can see here, if you talk to this flower, it, this one doesn't really react positively. So we gotta, and we don't want to handheld people too much. We really want people to go out there and, and find their own ways to find out how, how does this actually work. Um, so yeah. Because there's not a lot of you know on-screen prompts or no. tutorials to go through. It's kind of just like yeah. put you in the world, let you discover where it's going. Yeah, we've really been trying to work hard with like figuring a natural way to teach people how to do it without <laughs> throwing up, do this, do that. You know, yeah. it has to feel really organic. And I found the deer. You found the deer. Following so before. you know, of course, if you feel a little petted a dog or something like that, if you had to go out to a dog, you don't know. You do you use really calm sounds. If you scream at it like this, of course, it'll run away. You know, <laughs> that was a bad. So this, a bad is a try. this is a way to use the musical or the, the song system where if you use like really soft sounds, well, oh, it seems you can right get away. it back now. Try to Come try back. To, yeah, try to be really calm with the sounds. I know, love the image of this little character just sprinting through the forest, <laughs> howling at this deer. Yeah, so now it's interested. And then, of course, we can sort of connect to it and harmonize with it. Friends. Now you're friends, yeah. I <laughs> love make the art in real style. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Your amazing singing voice. <laughs> <laughs> you're in karaoke. There's a lot of really nice dark black depths of shadows uh, yeah. in there. Yeah, we, we Makes everything pop. Right, exactly. We tried to find a, um, I mean, obviously we're a small team, uh, but a small team can still su do something really beautiful if you if you pick a style that really fits you and works with you. And also, I mean, it also it's nice to have something that's kind of simplified for the eye, I think, you know. Um, so this little deer is following us around now. As you can see, it's very interested in you. And this is kind of cool about it. This deer can actually sing to these flowers, ah. these draft flowers, and then help you move forward into. The so it's not only you who has this uh, singing sort of um, language. It's also the different animals have different songs they can sing with to the nature. Do you ever get to a point where you're like kind of harmonizing with various animals, and that changes the way that the song sounds? Yeah. Uh, I might want to show you part of that, actually. Oh, yeah? Uh, you can see here. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Um, there's an owl flying around up there uh, at the top. And if you try to sing with this one right now, it might not be interesting. You can try to see. Uh, oh, it flew, flew, it flew away. out. <laughs> 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 anyway. He had his own uh, plans. <laughs> yeah, the, the owl might maybe not be interested in you right now because you don't know its language. Uh, but later on, we will learn to speak to this owl and have it a specific. I'll, I'll show that a little bit later in the game. Um, the other thing that's kind of cool about the world is that we sort of built it in a Metroidvania style that um, if you look up uh, at the waterfall there, Alexandra, um, you see there's more of these draft flowers there, but I can't actually get up there right now. I have to figure out a way to get up there, and I don't know that right now, so I have to return there later. But even if I get up there, I might not be able to actually talk to these flowers because I don't know the language for the flowers, and I can't bring it there with me. So you can always sort of return to the world and, and reuse it, and that's obviously the whole Metroidvania part of the game. We're gonna try to take this little weird thing here. Yeah. Um, oh. 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 Actually, that. yeah. Yeah. Come right. We'll, we'll show that now. Uh, yeah. There's all these little secrets. So, if uh -huh. you have harmonized with this uh, deer, you can also ride around with it. Oh wow. Which makes you, you know, it's this kind of like a secret thing you'll find out. We don't tell people directly because <laughs> if they find out by themselves, it becomes their discovery. It's a nice surprise. Yeah. It becomes yeah. much more interesting. And it's nothing you need to do to finish the game, but you can explore you it. You can do it. It helps you go quicker through the level. I think if you sing at the same time, it'll run faster. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Even exactly. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, <that's fine. laughs> I feel okay. like this is the kind of game that's going to have a lot of these little surprises and yeah. discoveries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So now Alexander picked up a shard, uh, and this shard sort of powers the elder tree of the forest, uh, which means that you can run down there in this hub thing and um, power yourself up. Uh, so you can find these different shards that are hidden all around the world. Um, and it will power the elder tree. And if you power it enough, it will give you new abilities. So I think we're going to learn climbing here, which oh. is a crucial um, part of the game. That's such a soothing soundtrack. I can yeah. imagine like all this music being playing in your office while yeah. you guys are like. You want to go to sleep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't play this music too much during work hours. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. It's I'm a sucker for a great, uh, great uh, video game soundtrack, though. Oh, yeah. I, uh, no, I so think you think yeah, you're I'm gonna like this one. Yeah. I'm interested for sure. So here, um, so now you actually learned how to climb trees, which is really um, 
really, really useful in the game. So every time you see a tree like this, you can actually climb it. And it's very quickly. You just jump into it and just keep pressing the button, and it climbs up to the top. Um, so this now means that I can actually climb any kind of tree, get anywhere, and it becomes it opens up the whole world once more. Now I'm seeing some of these other little rocks around here that have other icons that are not lit up yet. Yeah. So those are other That's abilities that you have to go out and find and then come back to this portal basically. Exactly, exactly yeah. yeah. And this one actually this one is actually not uh, necessary to finish the sort of the game. This is some extra ones you can add to the game to be able to um, open up more of the secrets areas in the world. Because the whole world is really connected in one giant map and you can always return or go around as you want. We don't force anybody to do it. We want them to actually discover their own way and the way they want it. Like you can go around and play around with the little lizards and try to sing with them if you want to, but you can also, you know, go straight through and try to follow the, the story itself. But it's up to you basically. How many oh. hours of gameplay are we looking at? Um, uh, if you just run right through it, it's probably like, you know, five, six hours of like that. But if you go out and pick up all the shards, talk to all the different animals, learn all the different things there is to learn, then um, yeah, here's here she's uh, connecting to these little lizards. They're super cute. Yeah, actually. they're cutest. In Aww. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you uh, you uh, made the the Metroidvania comparison. Is this the kind of game where you're gonna have a completion percentage at the end of the game, or are you gonna have uh, different things that happen if you beat the game in a certain number of hours, or is it kind of a more singular experience? It's that? more singular experience, I would say. But um, um, and I don't want to dwell too much into it because there's a couple of secrets in there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> But um, but yeah, and it's very open like that. You can, you can play it in, in, a, in a couple of different ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think we're gonna. So I'm actually gonna s we're gonna skip forward now. Okay. Uh, to a much harder part. Uh. Good luck. <laughs> oh, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> <Got this. sighs> if anybody on this stage can do this, it's probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. If you mess up, they just know it's live. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So this is uh, a lot further into the game. And uh, like I said before, this we're jumping forward now, but this, it's usually a fluid experience where you just walk through the world and you arrive at this giant deer. And, and the antagonists now, called the Silent Ones, we haven't seen much of them here in this demo, but they have captured this giant deer. And one thing you learn now is, of course, cl tree climbing. But we have also learned how to uh, uh, sort oh. of glide like this. Oh, cool! And the combination of those two are super nice. You know, climbing a tree and then gliding from one tree to another. Oh. You feel like a little tiny squirrel jumping around. Yeah. You know? <laughs> super nice. We have also learned now a new language, uh, which is the bird language. Oh. So, so Faye can actually imitate a little bird. It's really cute. And this one opens up these flower pots that has these kind of like um kind of like a bomb in it. Um, bomb Classic seeds. flower. <laughs> <laughs> bomb seeds. So we're going to try to open up this construction here. Nice. Yeah. I feel like you could press the share button at any point oh, and see. get a new desktop wallpaper. <laughs> That's gonna fall down. <laughs> I love the aspect too, the silent ones, which I know the enemies. They're the ones that are like capturing all these like beautiful creatures that are singing and yeah. they're like these meanies that aren't have no voice. Yeah, uh, if we have time we might be able to show a little bit of that at the bottom down there. Well, yeah, they're they're lurking around down yeah. there, yeah. So uh, as I told you before, you can climb any kind of tree and if you look at the giant deer, we He's see got trees. There's trees. So yeah. uh, and it's way too far away so we can't actually communicate with it now, so we wanna try to get closer up to its head. Um, so, good luck getting up there. Yeah, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> Bit of a Shadow of the Colossus vibe. Yeah. <laughs> the mini Colossus. The <laughs> mini one. <laughs> it's quite big. Wow, yep. look at oh, that. Oh, it's so gorgeous. Yeah, there should be some silent ones. Now, uh, he no I noticed oh when he's, he's the gonna. bird, he now has like that yellow coloring on yep. it. So does that change now every time yeah. you have a different voice? Yeah, it's, it's a way to basically show what kind of... We're trying to build that into the whole ways of, of understanding what, what language do we have right now and watch out I'm gonna climb up there oh quickly. my god <laughs> start thinking about the Here colors of the <laughs> yeah, try to jump forward okay here we go trying to find a good tree see one over there uh, yeah. and i love oh, um, tree. line it up <laughs> joel our musicians worked a lot with also the music of you'll probably notice as you climb higher and higher the music intensifies and changes depending on where you are uh, put a lot of detail into that. Yeah. All right, well, I would love to sit here and watch this for hours because I think it's just so beautiful to look at. But we have so much here on the PlayStation Livecast. So I want to thank Klaus and Alex for joining us today. Thank you so much for bringing Fea with yeah. us. <laughs> no and um, this is coming out uh, 2018? 
That's true. Yeah, early 2018. Yeah. Early 2018. Okay, yes. look for Faya. PlayStation.